we celebrate today the feast of the Lord's baptism at the start of his public ministry in the Jordan River Jesus is reminded of his identity God's beloved son this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased sisters and brothers our own baptism tells us who we are it reminds us of our true identity that we are God's beloved children today's feast is reminding us of this and we need to be reminded of our true identity the words spoken of Jesus at his baptism also speak of each of us this is my beloved child with whom I am well pleased kailangan marinig at maalala natin yan palagi hanggat mari araw-araw this is my beloved child with whom I am well pleased we can say that our world seems to be overrun by evil forces because of our failure to live up to our true identity our world becomes a very dark and wounded place because we forsake our being God's beloved and we fail to do our responsibility as God's children sisters and brothers let us reclaim our true identity the Lord Jesus is calling us back to our identity as God's beloved being God's beloved expresses the core truth of our existence the famous um, spiritual writer Henry Newman tells of us the implication of this core truth becoming the beloved means letting the truth of our belovedness become enfleshed in everything we think in everything we say or do we need to constantly go back to this truth of who we are and claim it for ourselves we must be able to tell and remind ourselves that our value as a person does not depend on academic honors does not depend on personal accomplishments career achievements or business successes it does not depend on material wealth it does not depend on political power or social status it does not depend on good public image high approval rating or fame and popularity we need to constantly remind ourselves I am not what I have I am not what I do I am not what others say about me this is not my identity this is not who I am I am God's beloved child this is my true identity that is our true identity that is who we are 